We hope everybody is continuing to stay safe and healthy during this time. We welcome you back to GoSycamores.com. And sooner or later, we'll be seeing Coach Ullman and her Indiana State volleyball team this fall. Coach, number one, it's good to see you. Good to check in with you. How are you, most importantly, your team and everybody doing right now? Yeah, thanks for having me, Luke. Um, it's good to see you as well. Um, we're doing pretty good. Uh, just got off a meeting with my team, actually. They're doing great. They all have a little bit of pep in their step with school being done and finals being over. Um, they're excited. They're starting to get excited for the fall as we're kind of getting more and more information. Um, they're starting to build those relationships with our incoming class, which has also got them really excited about what's to come. So yeah, you know, in hindsight and with everything kind of going on, we're doing pretty good. We've been pretty fortunate so far. You know, there's been so much, of course, going on uh, with the pandemic and COVID-19 and, and so many wrinkles have been thrown into all the sports, not just your sport. What have you done just to try to make the most of this situation? And even right now, maybe the importance of giving your athletes a little bit of a break, because I know it's hard to think because we've been on this hiatus for a little while as a department. But, you know, right now would be the time where finals are wrapped up and they normally get into their summer. Yeah, you know, I think when we first originally kind of started, we all got sent home. You know, it's I really reflected on how am I feeling right now? What you know, because how I feel and the things that are I'm going through, my players are going through as well. And probably even, you know, more because um, they still have school to worry about. Um, you know, and they lost their spring breaks and all these plans are getting shut down. And so we wanted to give them a little bit of space uh, just you know, especially our freshmen that were kicked out of the dorms, essentially had to go home. Um, you know, that's, that's pretty dramatic. Um, and this is a first for everybody. And to say that we know how to handle this would be naive. So we really just gave them some space um, and kind of established some distant programming stuff in teaching them how to cope and how to feel and how to be vulnerable about this and understand it's okay if you're having a good day and it's okay if you're having a bad day. And ultimately, like, you know, as a group, we're able to have that safe space to have those conversations. And so when we do return, the conversations that we're able to get into as a team to get better on the court when we're when we are able to do the on ball stuff um, should be stronger. For you and this group, one of the things when you think of your just process here at Indiana State Coach Allen, this will be your number four. And a big mm -hmm. part of that is you want to get everybody in the door uh, where you had a chance to be able to see and recruit. I know you really like this recruiting class. I don't have to ask you the question of you think this is your best recruiting class that you've had because I think it speaks for itself. But just in you, in your terms, I don't know if comfortable is the right word I want to use here, but how do you feel heading into year four, knowing everything is kind of coming to fruition a bit that you've been working on the last couple of years? Yeah, um, obviously, I think we all have an idea of what something's going to look like, and then it changes, um, you know, and this is, go we had so many things planned kind of in preparation for this class coming in, our trip to Italy this summer, right, it was supposed to be a big summer for our program to take a step forward. Um, I think we're still doing that, it just looks a lot different than what we had originally planned, uh, you know, so I don't know. I don't fully know what it's going to look like come fall, right? Um, the nice thing and the exciting thing is I think it's leveled the playing field across the board. Um, I think these six players that we have coming in are very competitive and very physical and mentally tough to where they are going to find themselves in a good situation in regards to handling this adversity that we've had to deal with. Um, and even our, everyone's in the same boat. Our upperclassmen are going through the same situation, right? Dealing with this adversity. And so it's going to allow them to just have that common, you know, denominator right now and just be able to connect and say, hey, look, we're all we're all getting going at the same time. Um, we're all getting back into the weight room. We're all getting back into the gym. And it's okay, you know, to like fail a little bit. And it's okay. We got to learn again. Everyone's going to have to be a learner. And so I think that's going to be a really exciting thing for these six to walk into um, because it's going to it's different than most years. Right. Um, you kind of have to catch up quick when you're a freshman these six are going to walk into um, a little bit of a different environment. They should, you know. So, but yeah, we're excited about the incoming class for sure. Well, but you're also excited because of what they're going to be mixing in with. And, you know, you kind of talked about in the Sammy, Steady Teddy, uh, Melina Tedro, and the year she had and, mm -hmm. and so many key moments for your group. 
how important has the growth – and I, I'm not really trying to put it just on Melina, but the importance of her growth and how that really can impact what even some of the other returners that you have, like Nikki and many others, that can provide a spark and, and really be that leadership aspect that those six newcomers are really going to need. Yeah, I mean, if you really look at it, we're returning all of our starters, um, you know, the majority of them, you know, so the competition is going to be really great in the gym day one, right? And I, like, have lost nights of sleep visualizing what that first day is going to be like in the gym, right? Because it's going to be exciting, it's going to be fun, it's going to be competitive um, in the right type of way. And so, yeah, you're right. We have a lot of great returners um, that, you know, that are going to set this foundation. You know, we're returning both of our setters, um, you know, so both of them having a little bit more experience underneath their belt, looking forward to them just taking it and running with it now. Nikki, obviously, she's played since her freshman year. So she's got a wealth of experience and has dealt with some adversity as well throughout her, you know, playing experience. Melina, you know, her work ethic and Maddie, Maddie Williams, her work ethic you know, is just, I mean, they're both workhorses and that's part of the reason they've been so successful for us. And, you know, I think our freshmen will see that and will fall suit, right? Um, which is what we're going to need, you know, right now um, when we all kind of get back. And then you look at, you know, Gretchen and Taylor who are outsides. They got a ton of experience as freshmen, um, you know? So again, it's, it's exciting. It's really exciting um, that these six have such a strong bedrock to walk into with our returners. What's your main message to your group right now, Coach Ullman, especially when, you know, maybe there's, there, there's obvious, uh, you know, you can, you can read on the internet for days of, of all these articles and, and really probably get your emotions uh, in a, a wide range, per se. How do you just try to, hey, just talk to your group, have that common message and say, uh, you know, whatever your main message is for when ultimately, whenever you guys get that green light to come back? Yeah, you know, I want them to be a little bit of a problem solver right now, right? Um, let's let I want them to come up with some of the answers because this is new and I think it's a nice way to train that piece of it. Um, what do you guys want to do? How how can we tackle this issue as a group? Um, you know, and just off my last meeting, the, you know, we kind of talked about the team that quarantines together wins together, right? And so really just trying to make sure we're staying together, we're there, we're showing up for each other you know, even if it is through a camera. I mean, thank goodness we have, you know, we have this access. When I played, we didn't have this access, right? So I don't know what it would have looked like 10 years ago. Um, I guess we would have been handwriting letters to each other, but I mean, it's a big deal. So let's not, you know, let's not forget about that. And, um, you know, let's get excited. You know, there are good things coming, you know, and we, there's so much negativity right now in the world and on the news. You know, you just dated yourself, Coach Allman. You just said that you didn't have this when you were in school. <laughs> I know. I did say a few years short, though. So it's been more than 10, but that's okay. I won't give you the exact number. Well, Coach, obviously, number one, really glad. And, and honestly, not just glad, but thankful that you and your whole team, everybody is continuing to stay healthy as well as their families. And look forward to – Definitely getting into ISU Arena whenever that may be. Uh, continue to stay safe, especially to your team, and we look forward to when everybody's back. Yeah, thank you. I appreciate it. Um, you know, it's so great to see everyone's faces, even if it is on a screen. Um, and it's I, I, I'm very cautiously optimistic about the fall and, you know, looking forward to releasing that schedule, um, you know, out on the website so people can start marking their calendars to come watch us play because it, it really is going to be a fun year, and I'm just – you know, waiting for it to get here.